Hey guys, happy Friday. I am here in the office. I'm the only one in this area. So social distancing, I've got you. I'm gonna be on the Dave Ramsey show for all three hours today, which is crazy. It's a long time. The fact he does a radio show every day for three hours, I'm like, wow. Um, so I'm gonna join him today and on Monday. And thanks you guys for everyone that joined uh, last night's live stream between like Facebook and YouTube and everything. I think we had, I think I saw the numbers. It was like close to 100,000 or right over 100,000, which is just crazy. So I hope that you guys um, got some hope and a little bit of just sanity by watching that. That was our, our hope and our prayer for that event last night. I'm trying to get where there's like not just sunlight beaming behind me. Um, okay here to answer your questions you guys and this will be the last daily one that we do this week we we went live together every day this week which was awesome um, and then next week I think I'm gonna just do Tuesday and Thursday and then we'll see from there what happens so any questions you guys have I'm gonna scroll up and start from the beginning just to see so I don't miss any what stocks should we buy right now um, I never recommend single stocks so there's not like a specific stock I would recommend. Um, I've said this before on here. I feel like I've been a broken record on this thing. So I really hope you're like, you guys are probably all financial experts now if you've listened to every Instagram live. Uh, but no, mutual funds is what I recommend. So it's gonna have 90 to 200 stock within a mutual fund. And so I like that because the risk is way low. And I think that, you know, spreading out your money versus depending on one company um, is the best bet. So. That is what it is. Hello from Chicago, suburbs, pizza. Oh, pizza, Chicago pizza. So here's what I've learned about pizza. We'll get back to money in just a second, but this is a very important topic. So did you guys know there's a De Detroit style pizza, New York pizza, Chicago pizza? Um, and I hate to say it, I'm so sorry Chicago, but I think New York, New York style is like my jam. I love your deep dish Chicago, but sometimes it's a little too pie-ish for me. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know I'm going to just absolutely just, you guys are going to hate me and probably block me from Instagram for saying that, but I'm speaking the truth, but any pizza warms my heart. So just know whenever I'm in Chicago, I 1000% get Chicago pizza. All right. So awesome from last night. So great. Uh, how do I find a financial coach? Uh, and how much is the investments? Um, so we have a, we have financial coaches. If you go to DaveRamsey.com, all over the country that are certified. So we have that. I don't know if you meaning maybe a financial planner, but you can go to SmartVestor Pro on DaveRamsey.com, and we recommend financial planners in your area. And all the investment stuff. That's all going to depend on your situation, how much you're putting in, all of that. How everything's structured. So it's very specific. Um, let's see. Mad dope respect. Thanks. <laughs> uh, favorite stock. Again, I answered that. Uh, do we pause kids college funding at this time? No. If you guys have a fully funded emergency funds and no debt and you're funding retirement, then you can still throw some stuff at kids college for sure. Um, but if you are losing an income um, or you have debt, and you don't have an emergency fund, all of that, I would definitely pause. Uh, kids college for now until you get all of that straightened out uh, my wife is not working I'm the only one working do we keep paying on debt um, if your wife was working and lost her job and she's gonna be getting a new one um, then I would say and you're down to like a single income family you, you guys need to look at your budget you need to make sure your four walls are covered which is food shelter utilities and transportation making sure that that is covered um, and then your, and the rest of your budget you can look at. And if you have any extra money, then yes, you can pile on. But if you're used to a two income, if you're used to two incomes coming in and she lost her job, I'm okay if you pause it for just a little bit while she goes and gets another one to replace it. I just wanna make sure that your budget, um, those four walls are taken care of. What should we do with the money we're receiving from the financial stimulus? Uh, I would put it right to your baby steps. So if you, are getting out of debt throw it at your debt if you're saving up for an emergency fund I would put it in an emergency fund um, if you've lost a job then definitely use it to help pay bills and all of that um, and save it too if you've lost a job 
Should I pay on my debt now or how long should I wait before paying debt? Um, if you still have an income, continue to pay on your debt. If you know you're in an industry that's probably not gonna like contract and go away uh, or you're gonna lose a job, then I would just continue to stick to the, the baby steps uh, and continue to pay on the debt snowball. But if you're in an industry that you're like, yeah, there's a chance I'm getting laid off, then I would pause paying off debt and stock up some cash. What is the Ramsey show in Nashville on the radio and what station? Hmm. It's a great question, Rhonda. Um, I'm not sure. I think we have a station finder on DaveRamsey.com. I would go there. We have like, I think close to 600 stations and I feel like they change a lot. So I have zero of those memorized at all. So I'm so sorry. I can't help you. Is May Smart Conference happening in California? I really want to go. Um, the May Smart Conference. The May Smart Conference originally, or there was one in April that was in Orlando, got moved to September. They may have launched, they wouldn't have launched one for next May. Um, so I don't think so, but I keep taking you on DaveRamsey.com. That's where I go. DaveRamsey.com events and double check everything. I know we had a smart conference in Orlando that we had to push out till August because of Rona. Any advice on investing right now? Uh, yeah, it's a great time to invest, but I want you to be in a position where it's smart for you to invest. So no debt, fully funded emergency fund in cash, and then start investing. And go talk to a financial planner. Whenever it comes to investing, seriously, go sit down with these people and figure out what's best for you. And making sure that these people, we always say, has the heart of a teacher, not the heart of a salesman. So having someone that you really do trust, and if you feel like sleazy or they're greasy, you don't like them, don't put your money with them. Don't trust them with your money. There's plenty of financial advisors out there. We recommend ones called Smart Investor Pros that go through this whole process with us um, because we want to send people to them because these people are in this stuff day in and day out. And they're going to have great perspective for you. Or, yeah, they'll have great perspective because especially during now, this time, investments are just insane. Like, it's just crazy. How do I become a financial coach with you guys and how much is the investment? Oh, um, if you go to DaveRooms.com, um, there is like a certification and like a class you can go through and some of it's online, which is really awesome. Um, I'm not sure how much it is right now, but you can find all that on the website. I was hoping to pay off debt with a tax refund. Should I do that? Uh, yes, absolutely. If you have a stable income, then yeah, throw it at the debt. That's a great idea. Is it a good... Is it bad to make a large purchase right now or save cash for the next few months till things quiet down? Um, if it's something big like a house and you have your down payment saved, you have no debt in an emergency fund, I'd still go through with it. But if it's a big item, like a luxury item, I almost would press pause personally. If you have the money and you're out of debt in an emergency fund, you can still do it totally. So that's kind of becomes a personal preference. Luxury stuff, um, I would probably tap the brakes like a month or two. Um, like Winston and I have a purchase we want to make, uh, for the girls, but it's a little bit of money, more money than like, just like a Play-Doh set. And so we're like, you know what? We're probably going to just hold off for like a split second, make sure, just see how everything is. Like we don't need the thing right now, um, even though we have the money for it. So we're kind of just going to chill for like a month probably before we purchase it. So that's personally what I would do. But again, if you have the money, um, yeah, then you're... You can, you totally can, and especially if your income is still stable. Uh, do you guys hire newly college grads? Would love to teach your platform to others. Yes, we do hire college grads for sure. You can go to DaveRamsey.com and look at employment, um, the tab there. And yeah, we are hiring lots of people. We got like 950 people here, it's crazy. So we always need help. Um, we have $10 to buy my son a car. He is 16. Buy or hold off. We have $10 to buy my son a car. Okay, I'm going to assume you mean $10,000. Are you $10,000 for the car or $10? I'm going to say $10,000. Um, and, yeah, if you had that money earmarked for the car, again, it kind of goes back to that luxury item. Yeah, you're still welcome to buy it. I just want to make sure you have no debt and a fully funded emergency funds. Um because if you don't have that, then right now I probably would hold off just for a little bit. Um, but, oh, 10K, you corrected yourself, okay. I was like, $10 car, show me, show me that little sucker. That's interesting. Uh, 
yeah, so again, if you guys have no debt and an emergency funds and this money was earmarked and your income looks stable and good, then yeah, you could totally go ahead and buy it. But if the income is like, oh, and you don't have an emergency fund, that 10K, even though it was promised to him, uh, it was promised before Rona came into our lives. So you could press pause for a month or two and I know he will be super disappointed, but financially that could be the best step for you guys. Again, depending on if you have debt and an emergency fund. Um, what do you think about all the 5G towers going up? I don't know. I don't know about 5G towers. Should I know that? Is that something I should know? Um, I am confused as to who will receive the stimulus checks. Um, there are some great charts just online because it's all based on income. And so if you make more than $99,000 as a single, you will not um, be qualified for it. Or as a married couple, if you make $199,000, then you won't be qual you can't qualify for it. But if you make under those amounts, then yeah, it depends on the amount of money you make, how much you're gonna get. But there should be some great charts online. I've seen a couple people post stuff about it. So I think it's great. Uh, St. Louis has their own style too of pizza. What's the St. Louis pizza? Tell me. Oh, I need to know this. I'm gonna Google it after. Job loss, should I pause baby step four to prevent using emergency fund to pay all monthly bills? Um, yes, I would pause baby step four right now because you've lost your job. Um, you have your emergency fund in place, which is such a blessing, but I would focus on getting a new job and all that. Cause if you don't have to dip into your emergency fund, obviously that is so ideal. It's there for you to use it. So if you can't pay your bills, hundred percent use your emergency fund. Um, but, but get an income coming back in and then I would restart the baby steps. Should I pay my son's daycare while it's closed to help out? Um, that's a total personal choice. I mean, we talked about this last night, but there's a lot of places that you can be really generous um, for a facility like that. I mean, again, it's totally your preference. Um, it, it's hard because sadly, like places that are going under, you know, one payment of a tuition is probably not gonna save them. I mean, if that is, then that's amazing. Um, but I think it's totally a conviction that you have. If it's something that you're like, no, 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 I feel like these people have treated us so well and I want to help out and you have the ability to, then yeah, you totally, totally can. Um, yeah, again, total personal choice. Let's see. Um, what should we do with the stimulus money? Spend it to help the economy or save it? <laughs> it's a great question. Um, yeah, depending on where you're at, again, use it to pay off debt or fund your emergency fund if you have it. Um, but if not, then yeah, you can use it for for whatever you want, If you, especially if you're on baby steps four, five, or six. You could throw it towards, um, I think it's a good plan right now. Um, again, depending on, it's just to kind of like take a beat in the next week or two and just see, okay, what's, what's happening? I feel like every week is changing. Like, I'm so curious what next week's gonna be, right? This week was like, for Nashville at least, like full on lockdown, everything's closed, restaurants are only to go and everything. And it'll be like that next week. So I'm wondering like the end of next week, like, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. Do you suggest taking our retirement savings out of our RSPs? Um, yeah, anytime when it comes to retirement investing, I would um, always just recommend standard 401ks, if you can get a Roth 401k, that's amazing, and Roth IRAs. So that's my go-to always for investing, but talk to your financial planner for sure. Um, my husband and I are wondering if we should cash our stimulus check or not. We aren't, we aren't sure that it is wise to accept it. We need a family car because we are expecting a baby and don't have one. Um, wise to accept it. Yeah, you can totally accept that check. I mean, this is the stimulus package Washington's decided to give to America. And if you qualify for it, then definitely take it. Um, yeah, if you, and if you need a car, again, making sure this is a need, not a want. Some people, I'm not saying this is you, but some people get pregnant, especially with the first baby. And they're like, oh my goodness, I need a safe new brand new car for my new baby. And I'm like, mm -mm, that baby in this car seat is just fine right back there. Everything's fine. So don't feel like you have to rush out and buy a brand new car because you have a baby coming. Um, but if you guys don't have debt, I mean, if you need a car, you have, you need to be a two car family and all of that, then yeah, you can look at transportation as a need and start using that money towards a new car for sure. But, um, don't feel like you have to rush out and get a new car because you have a baby. 
but congratulations. Babies are the best, and they're the most exhausting little things on the face of the earth. <laughs> How are they all things in one? All things in one. Thanks for your message from Hope last night. We loved it. Oh, so great. On baby step two, scared that I might need to use my emergency fund. Have a household cleaning business. Lost customers for a while. Perfect example, Beth. I would pause. I would pause baby step two. And for you, household cleaning, yeah. A, people are probably not paying always because it's a luxury. So they may be cutting that out of their budgets. And number two, some people don't want you in their house because of Rona. Um, so this is a this is a perfect example of an industry that really could suffer. So I, if I were you, Beth, I would pause and save, save, save. Uh, use any extra money that you have to bulk up an emergency fund for sure. Great question. How do you save pizza if there are leftovers? My wife is saying put them in the box and the oven is wrong. <laughs> you know what I do with my pizza leftovers? Bro I put my oven on broil put the pieces on a cookie sheet and slide it in. I like broil because it gets everything hot and it still kind of crisps the crust a little bit. You got to watch it because it can burn really easily. All right, guys, I got to go do the show in like two minutes. So real quick, I have $70,000 in student loans and $15,000 in car. What do I pay off first? The car. Debt snowball is smallest to largest, your debt. So pay minimum payments on everything and pay off that car first. Get it out of here. Um, how do I find a recording from last night? Oh, it's everywhere. We've been posting it on YouTube, on our Instagrams. It's called A, N a Message of Hope. So it um, it was, I think we did it in like 50 minutes. We were shooting for like 40, 45. And of course we're talkers, so it went over. Uh, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks, you guys. What a fun well, I was about to say what a fun week. It is, I don't know, fun. Would you consider this week fun? I don't know. It's been crazy. It's been fun to be with you guys, though every day this week. I so appreciate it. And you guys are rocking it. I, I've heard so many as it's down as like the news and what we hear on social media and stuff can be. There's like such the positive side. I'm like, I've seen people just absolutely rock it this week. Like, man, I don't know. I just have been encouraged and I love all of the giving and all the sweet things people are doing for people in their community. Like, there was like, oh, people like in nursing homes and their sweet spouses that can't go visit them, like sit outside the windows or family members. They like play the guitar and sing. There was a school in, I think it was like in Houston, and all the teachers drove by in their cars in a neighborhood where a lot of their students were just to like wave and say hi. And they missed their students. I was like, what world are we living in? Like, and there was one with a veteran and it was his birthday, his 90th birthday. And his birthday probably got canceled because of Rona, Corona. And his daughter like drove him through the neighborhood and everyone was out with signs and bells and like oh I just like you just have faith in humanity you really do and then and then that's all like the stuff going on in neighborhoods and everything and then of course the healthcare workers and everyone that's like on that side of all of this I mean it's it is unbelievable people putting their lives out there on the line every single day um it's just amazing I just hope that this united feeling that I feel like we all have cheering each other on continues because I feel it um may not be as real as I think it is but I think it's real so anyways uh you guys have a great weekend um and yeah I'll see you next Tuesday I'm gonna come back on here and answer questions next Tuesday so again as always stay safe and find some toilet paper <laughs>